With this pattern, you'll be able to propagate a message along a chain of objects until it's taken care of. When you need a request to be handled, you pass this message to the first object in the chain. If it can't handle the message, it will pass the message to the next in the chain. And so on. Until the request is handled. This is similar to what happens in some graphical user interfaces, where you want window controls to handle certain mouse events, such as a mouse click. So, if a control is clicked, but does not know how to handle it, his parent will try to. And if his parent can handle it either, another successor will try again, until this event is recognized and taken care of. 